Peace and love, guys. Welcome back for another video. Let's just get right down to it, guys. Um, so, you know, word came in that Young Pharaoh, a.k.a. Young Gayro the Galian, a.k.a. Marshall Daniels, a.k.a. Lil Fee, the Holy Ghost, um, has been released, guys. And this was um, confirmed as of like 18 to 19 hours ago, guys. So, um yeah, man, you know, for the people who thought that he was going to be locked up longer, you know, um, it might come as a shock that he got out, you know, so quickly. And, you know, people were so willingly um, to post his bond and to donate and to make sure that, you know, he was taken care of um, when, you know, he committed certain crimes like shooting into his baby mama's house, um, threatening the front office of the apartment complex building, um, threatening to shoot up, you know, the manager and you know, the citizens that live there at the, uh, the apartment complex, um, calling, you know, his baby mama bitch. You know, there's a bunch of other stuff that this man has been doing. So he's going to kill people. He's going to kill Golden's father, kill Golden's mother. He's going to break Martina's jaw. He's going to fight the hat dude, right? All these different things that uh, he's been saying, right? So you would think, you know, with the person, you know, saying this stuff online, you know, with it being 2022, um, that, you know, if someone says they're going to kill an, you know, a person's entire family, or they say they're going to kill somebody directly online, or they even shoot a bullet into somebody's house while there's children upstairs, you would think that in 2022, that person would be locked up and, you know, you know, have to have, have the key thrown away to the jail until it's trial time, you know, but it seems like, you know, certain laws, you know, certain people know certain things and can get, uh, you know, certain people out. And that's just, you know, what happened. And it just sucks to see that, you know, so many people, you know, are still willing to, you know, put their reputation, uh, is put their name, put their, uh, their, their, their family, put, you know, their line of business, put the profession, a career on the line, you know, for somebody like this man right here, when he wouldn't do the same for y'all. So uh, for the people that helped him out, that helped him post bail, uh, he's just going to get locked up again and he's just going to, you know, collect more charges. So y'all just wasted y'all's money. Um, just know that, guys. So um, I'm going to show y'all the video, guys, because, you know, we, we have to show you the receipts on this channel. And that's what we do, you know, over here on the Beam team. Um, you know, we, we make that shit make sense. You feel me? So I'm gonna go ahead and show the receipts of him being released. So for the people that don't believe it, um, shit, here y'all go. Here the fuck y'all go. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's play. Hey, the army vets though. I'm about to hire the army veteran. You heard? Right. So he about to... <laughs> He really believes he's gonna hire the damn army vets. Like he really believes that army veterans are gonna protect and um, serve this man as if they would serve the U.S. government or the U.S. Constitution. You know, like he really believes he's gonna hire the U.S. Army for his protection when he can't even afford a seventy-five hundred dollar retainer fee for his attorney to help you know get his freedom because that's the most important thing, right? Um, but you know he's you know he's focused on on army man he's focused on on you know on space force you know he you know he's you know he's he's focused on is connecting back with the Galian species and going back to his home planet and his home uh, galaxy and his home solar system and you know being with his home species like that's what he's looking forward to guys so um, th that that's why you see him developing a uh, technology company the uh, you know propulsion systems the uh, you know space force and things like that guys so. Um, you know, he wants to hire the army to help protect his assets, man, to help protect, uh, you know, the things that, you know, he allegedly owns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hire of army veterans. Yeah. Uh-huh. So this is the first thing. This is like, this, like, this is the first videos that he posts on his Instagram story when he gets released. Like, you would think that any person who, you know, was in a serious situation like he was, um, who spent two days, three days in jail because they couldn't make bail and they had to wait for people outside in the community to, you know, gather enough money and find the right people to post your bond. You would think that you would take 
it a little bit more serious. You would watch what you post online. You know, you would be more responsible, uh, more intelligent, uh, and, and and even more creative about what you post, what you you know display out to the public, especially during you know these charges that are still you know on the docket that are still on the books, man. Like you're still gonna have to deal with this stuff, but it's like you're acting as if like you got scot free, and the CIA is backing you up, bro. Because that's not the case. The CIA is not backing your ass up. The the U.S. Army is not backing your ass up, bro. Like I just want to let you know that from the gate. Uh huh. Ugly ass. Ugly ass, man. And you could just tell, guys, you know, as well. And you know, like King World spoke about this today in his live earlier that this man is high like you can look at his eyes and tell that this man is high like the first thing he did when he got released was smoke like he didn't even spend you know a day outside of prison or jail sober to figure out how he's gonna fix his situation like this man it, it hit the pipe man he'd be hitting the damn pipe he'd be smoking a damn uh reggie man he'd be smoking that damn corner and the shit man Let's get it. And I'm going to NASCAR. Y'all got me. You're going to NASCAR, nigga. No, you're not. You can't even drive. Just because you drove 120 miles in your fucking Corvette with the hieroglyphs on it don't mean that you can drive 300 miles per hour, 200 miles per hour for over 200 laps. You know, in front of thousands of people nationwide, bro. Like, what makes you think you can do all this stuff? What makes you think you can, you know, do all these things when we haven't seen you do one thing masterfully? And for the people that are in the building, right, you can actually master something. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all that right now, too, you know, for the people uh, that's in the building, because, you know, I want to go ahead and show the, uh, let's show you all this, man. You know, how many hours it takes to master something. And I'm going to show y'all this real quick. I'm going to show y'all this real quick. So I'm going to stop sharing this little ugly-ass Galen right here. And I'm going to show y'all um, some real-life information that can definitely help benefit, you know, young gay row, help, you know, and everybody that's in the building, you feel me? Right? So I want to show y'all this right here, right? Oops. Right? So according to Malcolm Gladwell... The author of Outliers, it takes 10,000 hours to achieve mastery. Uh, that means if you want to master anything, all you need to do is put in the hours um, and the time and practice to be able to do something, guys. And, you know, for people that don't understand mastering something, like you doing it over and over and over again and doing it for 10,000 hours is that you do it to where it becomes muscle memory, to where you literally don't have to think about it. Your, your, your body just literally reacts without your brain functioning. You know, to, it's, to, it's to do the thing that you're trying to master, right? Here's another source. It takes anywhere between six to 10 years uh, to get great at something, depending on how often, how much you do it. Some estimate it takes 10,000 hours to master something, okay, guys? So, you know, it, it's little feet, little gay row. You know, he still has, you know, a lot of time left on his planet to study and to practice and to hone his knowledge because, it seems like, you know, he's failing at that, man. It seems like all the decisions, everything that he's built up until this point just keeps falling down and crumbling right before his motherfucking feet. But all he wants to do is smoke weed all that damn day. All he wants to do, you know, when he gets out of jail and shit like that is smoke weed. That's all the man wants to do. So how can I be upset, you know, with this little alien right here? If that's the choices that he makes, no, I can't be upset at you know at the Galian. All I can do is offer you know whatever advice that you know I can offer, and hope that this man sees it and then you know thinks about it and then can make a decision based off you know the so-called advice that was given to him. But this dude's not going to do that because in his mind he's a Galian. In his mind he comes from another solar system. In his mind, guys, he believes, he literally believes that he's more intelligent than everybody on this planet. Like in his mind, 
he believes he's the smartest, most influential, uh, most ge is genetic superior black man. Like in it, like in his mind, he believes that, and that's why he won't take any advice or listen to what anybody has to say because he knows everything, man. He knows the black woman is God, man. He knows uh, the 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 fabric of the reality when you break it down to its most microscopic, minute detail, when you talk about atoms, the electrons are feminine particles and they're filled with throughout the universe and the universe is a big womb. Like he, he, he thinks he's figured it out, guys. You know, he's the smartest man. Well, let's see what the smartest man does when he gets released from court, guys. Let's see. Fucked up. Let's get out of here. Say this though, my people don't fuck with me for real like that though. We don't. We they don't, don't fuck with me for real life. We don't, because we're not Galeans. You know, we're not from no Galean solar system, man. We're not from no Galean planet, man. We don't shoot bullets into our baby mama's crib, man. We don't um, not eat in jail and throw away the bologna and just eat the bread and shit like that, bro. Like, there's certain things that us humanoids do, you know, that are specifically designed for humans, man. We're not Galeans, bro. Like, our genetic uh, genome is not set up to be able to behave and to, you know, function and do things the same way that you do things, dude. So obviously, you know, we're going to dislike your behaviors and shit like that. Shit, even, I guarantee you, man, if you were to go back to the Galian home world, um, inside of the Galian star system, man, they wouldn't even fuck with your ugly ass. They'd be ripping your ugly ass up, doing roasting reporting on your ugly ass, talk about, you know, Who's this fucking Galian that, you know, happened to make his way at Earth that's doing all this pseudo-ass knowledge? Like, they'd be ripping your ass up for embarrassing their species. So come on, man. I'm tired of these Galian-ass dudes, man. Like that, though. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't fuck with a god like that, for real. You're not a god. Right? And the universe is going to keep Showing your ass lessons until you realize that you're not a fucking god, dude. You're a fucking Galian. You're a feminine ass Galian, man. Like, stop it. You're not no damn god, man. Like, you keep playing with these terms and the universe is going to show you Galian. Gayro. Not for real, they don't. See, these Galian species never learn, man. Like, these Galian species go across the universe and they're spreading these false pseudo ass information, trying to get people on their home worlds and their home planets to fight uh, amongst themselves and to get them distracted while he takes over the entire planet, stripping it of its resources and shit like that. Like, that's what the Galians do. So they preach this bullshit that you're a god, that they're this, and that man ain't shit, and, you know, black, the darker your skin color is, the more powerful and more smarter and intelligent you are, when that has nothing to do with actual melanin. Like, that, that this is the type of knowledge that these Galian species preach out in the cosmos. It's a damn shame. They don't really fuck with a guy like that. They don't know God. That's crazy, man. You know what's crazy, man? Is you're not no god, man. You're a Galian, man. Crazy. <laughs> you're a Galian, bro. Crazy. Crazy. This fuck is heartbreaking, man. Man, shut your feminine ass up, nigga. Why are you over here in your feelings like a bitch? Why are you over here talking about heartbreaks and shit like that, bro? When you need to be focused on how you're going to pay the rent and the lights up in that motherfucking mansion, nigga. Like... I don't understand, like, why are you like a female, bro? And that's the one thing about these Galian species, man. These, you know, because he's not the original Galian, right? See, see, the people, you see, what the people have to, and, you know, shit, me, and I don't have to get with Kim Ward about this, but we will have to expound upon, you know, expound upon the lore and the knowledge of the Galian species and what we've known so far about studying this species um, across this planet and some other planets, guys, um, especially in some other communities. But the thing about these Galeans, man, is when, is when they are having children and hatching their eggs, each generation gets more and more feminine, gets more and more female, right? Gets more and more, uh, you know, less masculine. And Gayro, he's a first-generation Galean, right? So he's not the original 
you know, uh, zero generation Galen. He's a first generation Galen. So, you know, he has a lot of feminine ways. He has a lot of, you know, his feminine tendencies that, you know, doesn't bow well to reproducing and surviving as a Galen. So he has to, you know, hide and, 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 and try to act overly masculine to try to, you know, uh, show off like a, you know, how a male peacock does when they flash their motherfucking feathers and try to make themselves appear more beautiful or more vibrant to a female. Like, that's what these so-called uh, Galeans do, man. Especially this man right here, right? But he's in his feelings. He's in his emotions, right? He's too focused like a female on the internet about what people got to say about him and things like that instead of trying to figure out how you're going to get your car back, bro. From that surety bond. How are you going to get you know, your life back on track? How are you going to make sure that your money gets back up you know, to that $1.4 million? Like, 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 how are you going to make sure that your library, right, your so-called library stays a $100,000 uh, you know, $100, library? You know, because you have to pay people to clean the library, to keep it organized, to pay for the lights in that building. And that's not free, man. You streaming three hours a day with... 12 people in your motherfucking chat is talking about fucking Star Wars and video games and shit ain't gonna pay the bills, bro. So you focus on the wrong thing, and that's what's wrong with these Galian species, man. <laughs> Heartbreaking. 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 That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Fucked up. I'm gone. Dog. I'm hollering. <laughs> you gone? Where are you going to go? You got a court in a couple weeks, my nigga. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going back home to your Galian home world. Like, you ain't going nowhere, nigga. Like, your ass is chipped. Your ass is going back to that motherfucking courtroom where they're going to put that motherfucking click cluffs on your ass. And they're going to throw you back in that cell and they're going to bang on your ass back in that cell. Little blood homie gonna bang on your motherfucking cell, nigga. He was saying, fuck your 51 acres, nigga. He'll shit on that land, man. He'll just, uh, <laughs> oh, man. I don't wanna get hit myself. You gonna holler at who, bro? Not at everybody, but mostly everybody. I'm gonna holler. <laughs> you gonna holler at who? See, these Galeans, man, when they get horny, man, they just. <sighs> Is when these Galeans get horny, they just don't know, you know, what is appropriate and what's inappropriate. Like, who you gonna holler at? Like, you hollering at everybody in the first place. Your thirsty ass and your sexual uh, like energy wasn't balanced, and this is what got you in the situation in the first place. Dealing with these busty ass females, bro. You, you, dude, you're focused on the wrong goddamn things. For real, for real, Gero. For real, for real, you focus on the motherfucking wrong things, bruh. And I'm not even trying to cap and be funny. That's fucked up. And my, and my, and my hairstylist came and got me out of there, though. Got me All right, so if anybody was wondering, guys... Who bailed him out? You know, did Golden bail him out? Did Camille bail him out? Right? Did the baby mamas or, you know, did the parents help bail him out? No, guys. It was his so-called hairstylist that put her name on the paperwork um, and, you know, got his ass out on bond. I don't think maybe she paid for the whole thing, which we're going to find out a little bit later. But... She is the one that got her out. And I think personally, that little pink hoodie you see his ass wearing right there, I think he's wearing her hoodie, right? And I believe, you know, once, you know, he got out and got free, you know, they went back to her crib and chilled and shit like that before he went back to his. And he smashed. He smashed because the way that she was smiling at him on the video that World showed and shit like that, like he definitely smashed. And my thing is, is like, we're all adults in this building and everybody that's watching in the chat, like we're all adults guys. So it's like, we know that whenever a female really gets piped down, you know, in a heterosexual relationship, you know, when a female really gets digged down good, after she gets done, man, she gonna go in the closet and grab your t-shirt or your hoodie and put that shit on with some panties on 
or even no panties underneath so you can come back to that shit a little bit later, right? But notice how roles are reversed when it comes to this guy, right? He's wearing the female's jacket. And as you can tell, look at his little hand when he moves his hand. It has that little finger, that thumb slot, right? And to me, no man that I've seen wears those type of clothing. And you can tell by the way that this is fitted on him that it's really tight. You know, and it's not his jacket. You know, it's a, you know, you can even tell the type of material is that dry fit, you know, stretch fit type of material when it comes to, you know, these women running, they, you know, they be putting on the Nike, uh, the Nike jackets, the Nike shoes, Nike sweatpants, you feel me, the, the Nike sports bra, and they throw on that little light jacket, you know, with the little thumbs, uh, you know, that you insert them in. And this is what you use to run in to stay warm, but to also stay light, guys. So that's what he's wearing. You feel me? He's wearing the girl's jacket and hoodie when she should be wearing his hoodie and jacket. Got me out the jam. Got me out the jams, huh? His stylist came and got me out the jam. Y'all crazy. Crazy. Rock with her. Rock with her. And the white man came and checked on me. Mm. And my judge up. Oh, y'all crying. Mm. Right. So I think I'm going to have to email the judge this. Yeah. You know, you know, I was never a person in school, you know, to tolerate disrespect of any sorts. I'm definitely going to have to um, screenshot this, screenshot a couple of other, uh, other videos and go ahead and email that damn judge, um, old Grammy judge, via his words, guys. Um you know, I think I'm going to have to email, you know, the the prosecutor as well. I'm going to have to email, you know, shit, damn, like damn near in the entire courtroom. You know, everybody, like every lawyer in that courtroom, I'm going to have to send them an email with the clip link attached to this man's videos. Because you just can't be saying this stuff about the judge that's judging your case while in the middle of your court case. Why, like while you're fighting this battle. Like, what do you think she would do if she heard you call her a grimy old lady? And came and checked on me. Mm. Listen, guys. And my judge, oh, y'all grimy, mm, grimy old lady. Why? Right? She and grimy judge, old lady. Yeah, I'm going to have to email her this. Yep. Yeah. No, that's too bad, bro. Yeah, man, we want to get your ass locked up again, bro. No cap, man. You just can't be saying this around to your judge, bro. Let me go ahead and record it real quick. And the white man came and checked on me. Mm. And my judge, up. oh, y'all grimy, mm. Mm. grimy old lady. God, Why, yeah. though? Why? That's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. She just recorded that shit. Um, yeah, she gonna get an email tonight, um, you know, with all the receipts and looking professional. You know, I, I might have to add, um, you know, my little fake, you know, my, my little fake attorney name and shit like that. You feel me? Just, you know, just to make it look professional, but she definitely will get email tonight, guys. Um, she will have that video sitting at her desk. It's, I don't know if she's going to use it, you know, because, you know, certain evidence has to go through the professional um, process to be able to be um, introduced into a case before the judge can actually look at it or take it into her uh, or his consideration when making a decision. You feel me? So, um you know, hopefully she's smart enough to take that, you know, push that to the prosecutor's, you know, desk or push the link to the prosecutor's email and then uh, give, you know, you know what, guys, I think I'm going to just send it to the prosecutor. You know, if, if I send it, you know, if, if I send this to the judge, this can compromise the case, you know, and, you know, he can get off scot free with some shit like that. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and send it to the prosecutor, um, you know, that's prosecuting this case. That's, you know, that's 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 taken in the trial and shit like that. And I think I'm going to have to uh, email him this clip right here and a couple other clips, you know, so that he can have it when he's, you know, showing his uh, exhibits, you know, of evidence and the different pieces of it, explaining his point, you know, and the reason why they're in the court. I want that video to pull. I want, I mean, I want the video to pull up and I want him to say, uh, Your Honor, on the... 4th of March 2022, uh, young Pharaoh Marshall Daniels was released from Harris County Jail 
And two hours later, he was caught on video. And here's the exhibit. And I'm going to go ahead and play it for you and for the jurors and everybody in the building. And here's a video of him calling you a grimy old lady. Literally a couple hours after he's been released from your courthouse, from your, uh, you know, fr you know, from the county jail. Huh. Crazy. All uh right. -huh. Got arrested by an Arab and they put me in the back with the blood. Right, so he got arrested hey, by an that. Arab. Right, <laughs> that's fucking crazy, man. But this was Gayro, guys. This was young Gayro. This was him, almost 19 hours, literally, if not an hour or two after his release, guys. Now I have a question for everybody in the building. Would y'all be like, would y'all be doing what he did? Like, would y'all make the same choices that he made posting y'all's live stream, you know, saying that y'all's judge is a grimy old lady, you know, talking about and tagging the U.S. Army in your post, talking about how you're going to hire them and stuff like that. Like, would y'all be doing that stuff or would y'all keep it low key, keep it professional, you know, make sure that you prepare for this case because it's going to be a very stressful time consuming case and plus like you like you would also need to chase in a bag like you all like you also need to be getting a bag and working so that and i can already tell you guys that that public defendant and i said it in my last video or my or two videos ago uh you know when you know uh he was actually in jail uh at the court date you know that his public defendant didn't know what he was doing. You could just tell by his body language, the way that he argued the case, the way that, you know, he didn't know about all the charges, the way that he dressed, his wrinkly blue shirt with the salmon, you know, blazer that didn't match. Like, dude, like, how you look and feel on the outside is a direct reflection of how you feel and uh, think on the inside. And it's like, you come out like that, we can tell what's going on inside your brain. You're not all the way there, man. Like you riding the fence, scraggling along, just doing the bare minimum so that you can have a damn job. So we already know that Gabriel's going to lose his damn case. So he's going to need money to pay for their court fees, to pay for the settlement, to pay for uh, Goldie's, uh, like Goldie's attorneys. And he will have to have that child support money. So he will have to get a damn job. He gonna have to start up OnlyFans. He gonna have to get back with Martina. He gonna have to do something, guys. Like he just can't not be doing nothing. You understand? Like maybe the Galeans will come down and drop him, you know, a million dollars, a billion dollars, and he can use that. You know, like maybe they'll drop him a piece of that Galean technology, and then he can, you know, reverse engineer that and then sell it through, you know, his odd technology company. And then become the billionaire that he was talking about. Like, maybe that's what he, you know, is talking about. The, the four inventions that he says he has. Like, I think that's the Galian technology that, uh, you know, uh, like he's into. That, he, uh, that he's into, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and share a video right here as well. So uh, this man also posted a couple more videos, guys. It's like, we're going to watch every single thing. But we're going to get into... Uh, a little bit of the videos he posted, guys, because it just shows you the mindset and the mind state that this person's in, um, that Gero's in, the fact that this nigga's just high as hell, posting all these videos with his eyes low as hell, talking about on Army, it's talking about uh, him being locked up and all the other bullshit, and it's like, bro, like, like, you need to, bro, you need to get your ass whooped straight up, like, you need to get your ass whooped so hard to where it's like it literally gets to the point to where it's life or death and you're on the brink of death. I think that's when you're finally going to wake up and realize, bro, like you need to move a different way because you just like you're recording yourself getting high online, talking shit, talking dumb shit hours after you record, after hours after you post the bell. You got to be one of the dumbest niggas I've ever fucking watched or fucking. I, I, I haven't met your ugly ass and I never want to. You feel me? But it's like, 
God damn, man. So I want y'all to hear this, guys, and, you know, shout out to the chat, and let's get to it. All right, so you see this ugly-ass nigga right here, man. Like, he just needs to cut them damn dreads off straight up. Like, I think he looked, like, he'll look more, um, what's the word? He'll look more like a human if he cut the damn antennas off, man. He, you know, like, like, he would look more like himself, if you cut them dreads off, straight up. Right? But he want to try to play black. He want to try to play African. He want to try to play, you know, being an Egyptian when he's really a Galen. Like, come on, man. Like, all these different characters and shit, man. I'm tired of it. Like, just be who you're supposed to be, Marshall Daniel. Like, stop. Every dollar. Not just America. Every army. Every army that I like that's how y'all rocking that's how y'all doing okay mm -hmm. <laughs> fuck. you don't like me i don't like you neither all right then fuck you nigga nigga we don't like your ass nigga like call, call your galian species to come pick your ass up and take your ass back to the home world bro like because you need to get the fuck out of here man like you can look at your eyes bro your face is getting old crow's feet is developing around your eyes like how you looking like a 40 year old man but you really like 28 though hair all fucked up like you just look like a sad galen like i ain't never seen a sad galen before bro like i've seen evil galens i've seen you know um spiteful galens but like nigga, you the first sad galen i've seen it in my motherfucking life bro It's crazy. I ain't starting no beef with nobody. I'm, I'm peace. I'm just a. I don't like you neither. I ain't starting no beef with nobody. Y'all see his hand right there, guys. So notice, right? This is a female's jacket. This is a straight female's jacket, guys. I'm telling you, no man, no heterosexual, Afrocentric Egyptian, so-called. Man, wear stuff like this. <laughs> Buddy, I'm, well, he needs to put the hairstyle of jacket back in her closet, man. I'm P. I'm, I'm just a Buddha. <laughs> I'm just a get money hustling Buddha. Get money hustling Buddha. You would get money hustling Buddha. If you were getting money and hustling, you would not have... Is Salmonella as your public defendant? You would not have the worst of the worst fucking lawyers as a public defendant. Like you would have Tiffany, an expensive, you know, elegant, beautiful black attorney as your lawyer. If you had the bread, if you were really a hustler, but you're not, man. You're broke, Pharaoh. Just admit it, man. The sooner that you come out and admit that shit and tell people the real truth, what it is, and be honest with the people of the community, man, that's when people can start, you know, really accepting you for who you are. And maybe one day, man, you know, they'll actually fuck with you and like your personality and, you know, can fuck with you and actually, like, bear to be around you. But right now, man, like, you're just making it worse for yourself. Every day, bro. Day by day, you just make it worse for yourself. Just, when you see me, just give me like a wealthy boot. Look at me like a good luck charm. I'm a good luck charm. That's shit. You, a, That's you a bad luck charm. Literally. How are you a good luck charm? Nothing you do, you know, is fruitful. I'm banking. Failed. I'm army. Failed. I'm technology. Failed. I and family failed. Like what other I and shit? I and security failed. I and films failed. I and tunes failed. All these things that you built failed, dude. So how are you a good luck charm? You're not no damn good luck charm, bro. That's all I want people to know. That's how I want people to view me as a as the. Money bag.
You got no money back though, bro. Nobody views you with no money back, nigga. We all view you, you know, as an empty wallet. Like that's the type of shit that we view you as, bro. Like, like is we come to you to get bats to put into our wa our wallets, my nigga. Like that's the type of shit that you is on. Like you know how when you open a wallet, it's been empty. Bats fly out the hell. Like that's where we go to get bats from. Is gay road or gay lead? Cause he broke, man. He is he the king of the is he the is he the king of the brokies? Straight up. He their spiritual leader, man. View me as he back, and I'm doing tutoring for the rich. What I they're doing tutoring for the rich? Where? Name me one client who you've managed to actually, you know, bag as a client that you're gonna teach their kids. Who will allow you to teach their kids after seeing what you did? What parent will want their kid to develop behaviors that will lead to the same lifestyle that you're living? Why would any parent pay $9,000 per hour for you to teach their kid how to shoot into their baby mama's house? Why would they pay you $9,000, Gero, to call your baby mom a bitch online and says that she sells pussy? Right? What? normal stable family especially father or mother would pay nine thousand dollars for you to teach their kids how to fail in life how to fumble the bag how to you know not take accountability not take responsibility like you're not no, bro, you're not no lucky charm, bro. You're not no bag. Like, you're not no money bag. You're not no magic bag. You know, you a, you, you a douche bag, but you're not no motherfucking money bag. I said my verse, I said, I ain't going back to jail, but it got hellish in that cell. <laughs> but you did go back to jail, though. You literally, you, you literally just got out of jail two or three hours, four hours ago, but then singing a song, Saying that you'll never go back to jail. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with this alien, man? I swear to God, like, look at this nigga, man. Yo, lyrics are just entertainment, though. It's entertainment. I'm in Houston in 701. You hear me? I'm in 701. So I'm assuming he's talking about the jail cell. Number 701. He in cell 701. Harris County. All the way in the back in the last cell. Right, yeah. So he all the way in the back in the last cell. And so I guess in those three days, you know, them dudes, the, uh, the big boys, them OGs were beating his ass up in that cell. Because he's talking about how that shit was hellish. Hell. I'm not bad. Let me pronounce them. Hellish. In that cell. So the big boys were really fucking your ass up, Gero. You're not going to tell the jail story, my nigga? It, it's not going to tell the story about how, you know, when you walked to that prison, there was a honey bun laying on your motherfucking bed. You know, you're not going to tell the people that story, Gero. you just going to sit up here and cap and act like you was hard as hell, chilling, you know, running the motherfucking jail when you've been there three days. Like, you was the... Uh, like running the unit and shit like that, man. You was the commander of the unit. Like, come on, man. Your ass got beat the hell up. Your ass got motherfucking scared, man. Your ass was in PC, bro. Come on, man. Stop the cat, bro. Please stop it. All you know, the way in the back in the last. This nigga's a lion ass gay land. I sell. But the the CEOs are sweet, beautiful. I love black women. I never not. That's cap. If you love black women, you wouldn't be calling the bitch. You wouldn't be shooting, you know, a bullet into one of their houses. You know what I mean? You wouldn't be threatening, you know. And I don't know if she's a black woman, but you wouldn't be threatening another woman on the phone, threatening to shoot up an entire comment, like entire complex, you know, when people are living there, bro. You, you might like to fuck on black women.
but you don't like to love and treat them right and correctly and properly and how they're supposed to be treated like a human decent being. Black women. I never not love black women. Beautiful, see y'all. I was chilling. Right? I'm going through something tomorrow because... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was chilling, right? I'm going through something emotionally because I'm about to lose damn near 51 acres of land. Cause my You're about to lose 50. <laughs> I thought you already had. See, like, now what's the reason for you losing this 51 acres of land? Is it because you can't afford to pay the monthly bills on it? You know, you, you can't afford to pay back the banks in which you took a loan, which then use that money to then buy the land. Like, why are you about to lose the land, brother? Because I'm about to lose damn near 51 acres of land because my judge won't let me out on 2B misdemeanor. So it's your judge's fault that you about to lose these two these 51 acres of land. It's the judge's fault that you about to lose these 51 acres. Bruh, you don't have any land, gay bro. You don't have any physical land in Costa Rica. Like, the land that you're talking about, bro, stop the cat, bro. Like, that's that metaverse shit, man. Why you gonna PR me? And I got everything to lose, and I'm telling you that. And I'm not running. I'm not trying to run from court. I wasn't trying to run from court. Why you wouldn't PR me? Why you wouldn't PR me? I'm, I'm hurting him. <laughs> This man is. Why is he making these ugly ass faces, bro? Why you wouldn't PR me? Why you wouldn't PR me? I'm I'm hurting emo emotionally. Hurting emotionally. Yeah, I was hurting emotionally. Hurting. Right. See them Galeans be emotional, man. Them Galeans, especially the first generation Galeans, man. They be really emotional. Like they be really in their feelings and shit like that. He hurting in the damn cell. I'm hurting emo emotionally. I was hurting emotionally. Right? I think, man, this dude got really... I thought that... <laughs> That's how he be kissing niggas' asses straight up. He be... How? That's what he be doing, bro. No cap. <laughs> Something happened to him, though. I think, you know... Those three days in that jail, I think something happened to him that's very traumatizing because he hasn't made a complete coherent sentence yet since he's been out. And I'm, you know, you know, I'm not saying this nigga's cloned or he was drugged and all that shit. Like this dude willingly drugs himself. He willingly smoked a pipe online in front of everybody. Okay, so it's not no damn clone. They didn't drug him. Like, something happened to him, man. I think that, you know, him walking into a jail cell with the honey butt, you know, with you know, the little honey bun and a bow tied around it on his bed waiting for him. I think that shit really got to him. I think something happened to his ass while he was locked up, guys. Like, what do y'all think in the comments? Like, do y'all think, you know, that it was, you know, that it was something to do with the little honey bun that was sitting there? Like, do y'all think it was, you know, like, was it his, you know, his, I guess his jailmate? You know, his roommate. Whatever, but I just want to say, right? Whatever, man, but I just want to say, man. why y'all doing me dirty like that? But it's okay. <laughs> you doing who dirty, bruh? Like, did you, like, like have you forgotten what, you, like, what has happened in the last year? Like, you don't remember any of the shit that you've done this last seven, eight months, bro? Me a billionaire. I thought she was already a fucking billionaire. Why y'all doing me dirty like that? But it's okay. <laughs> I'm about to be a billionaire. <laughs> and I'm walking around with the army. No disrespect to the police, but I'm walking around with the army. I was gonna drop this summer, but I ain't dropping. Ain't no army nigga gonna protect you. Ain't no patriot gonna protect your ass, bro. Hell no, they're not. Why would they protect your races? White supremacist ass. Why is why would these American patriots protect somebody who shoots 
a bullet into their baby mother's house while their family's upstairs inside the house that they just shot up. You know, these American patriots, man, believe in the nuclear family, brother. They believe, you know, in the family unit. You know, they don't agree with those actions, dude. The, you know, the people from the 1776 shit, man, the, you know, them Trumpers and shit, man, they don't fuck with that family. Like, bro, they don't, they take their family serious, man. I have a feeling, guys, the on army isn't going to fuck with his ass. Up in this summer. This summer, I'm going to just ball and run it up and ball. <laughs> I'm going to just ball this year. Then next year, I'm going to drop. Y'all look at me like I'm either a white boy or a lick. That's how my people see me in America. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't see you as a white boy or a lick. You're broke as shit. So there's nothing to fucking take from your broke ass. Second of all, we see you as a Galen. Gabriel the Galen. You're not no damn white boy. I know a lot of white boys that would not do what you do or act the way that you act. Some will. But I know a lot that wouldn't. Like, I swear to dude, like, this dude wants to identify as a white boy so bad. Like, like, like he tries to say that people say that he's a white boy, but nobody says that young Pharaoh acts white. We, man, we say he acts, you know, like a Galen. We say he acts feminine. You know, as we talk about, you know, the honey bun being on his bed tied in a bow, you know, when he walked, uh, like when he walked to that jail cell. You know, but we don't call him that white boy. Like, he identified as a white boy. Like, this dude loves rock. Like, this dude loves all that shit, man. I'm peaceful. I ain't put my hands on nobody. So you didn't put your hands on Golden or Kamel. Really? I ain't put my hands on not one person since I've been out of prison. I don't know. All right, right. Bro, you've been... Bro. You've, it's been three hours. So you have to be more specific, right? And he speaks in such vague terms, right? Like, are you talking about since you've been out of prison back in 2014, 15? Because you've admitted yourself that you've hit Kamel. You hit Goldie. You broke her phone. You know, you escorted her out of your place. You threw her out. You know, you you know, you know, put the paws on her. You, you know, tapped her up a little bit. Like, these are the terms you use to describe your abuse towards your baby moms, dude. I'm walking around in the general public, certain places to have fun. I'm walking around with that army too. Listen, I love y'all. I appreciate it. This nigga, I can't, man. This man, yeah, man, he need to lose the 51 acres of land, right? Is, 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 I don't know why he thinks that he's about to lose that shit. When he never even had that shit. Like, this man has never had no damn motherfucking 51 acres of no damn land. Right? But let's let's get into the video. Because this nigga wants to talk about it. Alright, let's talk about it. Let me show you what's going on, guys. Okay, so he said, 51 acres of land, we bought the ball on these niggas, skizo, bizo, Egyptian slash Japanese style palace, right? So, for the people that don't know, like, he, like, in his mind, he believes he's going to build a real physical Egyptian pyramid-based Japanese style base palace on 51 acres of land when he's never even touched a drill, never touched a screwdriver, We've never seen him put a hammer to a nail. We've never seen him pull out a tape measure and measure something. We've never seen him, you know, do anything when it has to do with building or constructing or even taking care of land. What, what have you seen Young Pharaoh teach about growing food or the different, like the actual details, the important in-depth details that you learn that helps expand your garden? Like, have you seen or heard him teach that, you know, is that in his political crime section on Aunt University? Like, I've never seen this man talk about growing food, building anything. I, 
anything that's actually, you know, that's actually tangible that would actually help the black community. Like he doesn't talk about any of that stuff. Right. But in his mind, he believes he's going to build, you know, Egyptian, Japanese style power. Like, like this is why I say, is young Pharaoh, like, if you really want to get your 51 acres of land, if you really want to build that Egyptian, uh, is Japanese palace style theme thing, man, you won't have to buy it, man. You won't have to get land in the metaverse, bro. Like, straight up, bro. Like, you go ahead and kiss that Costa Rica land goodbye. You know, they probably already sold that property to somebody that actually has the money and can, you know, actually pay for it, man. You know, but your best bet is getting some land in the metaverse, bro. Straight up, I'm not even going to cap. I'm not even going to damn cap. And the reason why is because in the metaverse, bro, like, you don't need to have no skill on how to put a hammer to a nail. You don't need to have a motherfucking skill on how to grow no damn food, bro. Like, you can literally just click a browser and click whatever tool that you want to build or click whatever material that you want to construct. And you can build it right there, bro. So to me, that fits perfect to what, you know, with your level of skill set. You don't know how to build. You don't know how to grow any food. You don't know how to do anything that's actually self-sustainable in the real, actual, physical world. So the digital world is perfectly for you, dude, because that's where it seems like you thrive at is, you know, on the Internet. Like, that's where it seems like a lot of your consciousness, your focus is at is on this damn Internet. Right. So and then he says about to have all the most beautiful women around the world in my palace. Right. So I'm trying to understand, like, who's going to build this so-called palace that he's referring to, guys? Who's going to build it You know, on the 51 acres of land? Right. So he says, due to this bitch ass nigga talking shit on 71, uh, like 701 unit in Harris County saying, fuck my 51 acres while I was on the phone minding my business. So so, so I guess this was when he was on the phone with Golden. Um, I'm assuming that it's Golden because she stated that she talked to him. And, you know, he was mentioning his 51 acres of land. You know, like, it's probably saying that, you know, he's going to lose it. He's going to do this, right? And I guess some dude that was in, you know, the closest cell next to him overheard the phone call and yelled to him, Fuck your 51 acres of land. That just proves the niggas that is where I am the entire time. Like what, like what, like, like what did you do? And if, like, if you were in PC, what did you do to piss off these niggas for them to say, fuck your land? That proves that these dudes had an eye on you from the beginning. Low gay row. This proves that they were, you know, as soon as you came in, like, they already had plans to get your ass, bro. Right? And he says, did, did there be no bloods or gang members allowed or at any of my events, right? So now he's beefing with the bloods, guys. He's beefing with the bloods now, guys. Is he leadership? He beefing with the damn bloods. He said, I'm not dealing with that toxic bullshit. But I thought she was a hard body nigga, man. I thought she was gangster. I thought you was a, a shooter. I thought you was a little fee. I thought you got the blasters, bro. And this metaverse stuff, right, guys? And I'm going to show a couple videos because I think this would be perfect for the type of dude that Gabriel is, guys. And just the people that are on there, I think, you know, he would be in an ideal space to where, you know, He'd, he'd be in heaven, you know, little gay row heaven, a little gaily in heaven, you know, that that's where he'll be. And he said, tell that broke ass bitch to rot in a fucking cell while I'm out here fucking uh, moving the nasty way in Costa Rica, right? So this dude is never going to see that shit, right? He's just, he, he's just expressing himself, expressing his feelings like, you know, he was scared in prison. So he couldn't really say what was on his mind and on his heart because his ass would have got motherfucking ran through. Right? So now that he's away from other nigga and the nigga can't hurt him or speak to him or call him out on his bullshit, now he's going to make this damn post. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot it. And I'm going to make sure that that, that dude, you know, gets this email when he gets out. You know, when he gets out, is he going to have a letter 
with the screenshot in it, you know, with your address and, you know, thing, you know, bygones going to be bygones. So, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and email him about that, too. So I'm going to have to go email the judge, email the prosecutor, and email uh, my homeboy in, uh, uh, like, you know, in the uh, neighboring jail cell. Because you fucking up, man. You fucking up. Like, that nigga was going to take your booty cheek straight up, man. He said, fuck your 51 acre, nigga. <laughs> I can't believe this nigga almost got his land took, bro. This nigga almost got everything took. Right, guys? So, for you know, for, you know, for the people that are watching right now, it's I'm showing you images from the so-called metaverse. Okay, so this is from a place called the Sandbox. And, and let me check uh, the streaming place real quick because I want y'all to see it. Okay, yes, okay, so y'all can see it, right? So this is the so-called metaverse, guys. And I'm going to show you all different videos and different photos of, you know, what land is like, what the virtual space is like. Because I think that this would best fit, you know, Gary to Galeon. You know, I think that this would best fit his way of life, his mindset, his, his humor. Like, you know, everything that the metaverse has to offer, I think. I'm going to break it down later in the video. You know, would, would definitely benefit Gary to Galeon. Right, so you got a little land. Right, you got the little land here too. A little land. It's a little jungle theme right here. You can build stuff. Right, you got the little, uh, you know, the Olmec, you know, head there. You got the little jungle stuff. Right, so this is called the sandbox, guys. And it's just small images of it. You know, like, you know, you can see the guy, little avatar right here. He's building. You know, this is one of the different, you know, virtual land spaces. Uh, landscapes that they have, right? And there's different types of textures, different types of, uh, you know, uh, worlds that you can choose from. But here's just one of the pixelated worlds, guys. And I'm and I'm saying like, bro, Gabriel, look at all this acreage out here, man. Like, look at all these trees, this land, man. Like, this land is good for you, bro. Like, is why can't you just buy the 51 acres here, bro? You don't gotta leave the states. You can stay in your home. You can stay like, bro. You can even do this in a jail cell, homie. Like, even if you get locked up after these charges, you can still build your palace. You can still build your theme park, bro. You can still smash virtual avatars of virtual women in the virtual world, bro. You can clap virtual cheeks, dude. All right, but you can buy this land, bro. The home for... Welcome. All right, guys, so here's a video right here, guys, of, you know, the so-called meta, uh, the metaverse experience. So let me know if y'all can see it, guys, because I'm going to play the video. Come to MVR, the home for right. all your virtual reality experiences. MVR. Before we begin, let me show you how to take control of your new immersive window. If you are viewing this on a computer, click and drag the video to rotate your perspective. Oh, it is perfect for If you are viewing this on a mobile device, tilt your device to rotate your perspective. Think you got the hang of it? Why don't you try looking up for me? Amazing. We are now ready to it, experience it, it MVR. Here at MVR, we can travel to any point in time. Why don't we travel to the past first? See that, bro? You can travel to the past. So they just traveled to a whole world with dinosaur in it, bro. Gabriel, man, you can travel back in time, bro, to when the Egyptians were building the pyramids, bro. And you can go live. In the Egyptian society, bro, for real, for real, man, you can go be, you know, a pharaoh like you claim to be, bro, and see how they really were. You know, I don't think that, you know, you would be able to sit on the, you know, with, you know, with King Tut or Queen Nefertiti or any of them people, you know, or the actual Akhenaten. But, you know, they, it's how can I put this lightly? You know, you can go work as a slave there. You know, and back in that time period, like the amount of money that was being made, you, everybody was basically slaves. You feel me? So, you know, you could have had you a little shop in Egypt, bro. You could have, you know, been sweeping a little tile floors. Like, man, you can go get you a job back in ancient Egypt, bro. Straight up. And you can make you a little bread and change and use that, you know, to help buy your land, pay your rent in the metaverse. Straight up. Look, look at this, guys. Look at the dinosaur. 
Right. What about the future? You're immersed, you know, or you're emerged in that reality. Right, so in the future, shit. Look at the on outer space. It's perfect for gay road. You know, he can explore the different star systems to find his home world straight up. It's to find his people. What about a separate timeline that mixes the past and future? You got a dinosaur in space. You see, Gabriel, man, you can build anything you want out here, man. You can, man, you can let your little heart and your Have little you ever mind dreamt wander. about being a superhero? You know, you know, you, look, you teleported to a city like. See, guys, these are the different virtual spaces that you can you know, put yourself in and you can do different stuff, guys. So this is the metaverse. And I'm going to do a whole breakdown um, on the introduction into the metaverse, what it is, so, you know, for people that aren't familiar with it, you know, uh, the pros, the cons, you know, the so-called agenda behind the metaverse. But, you know, that's for a later build. But these are different virtual spaces, guys, that you can go and interact, meet people, talk with people communicate, you know, like, like just like you would in the real physical world, you do it in the virtual world, though, you know. Right, you can do that. You can just fire a blast out of his hand like fucking Dragon Ball Z. Look at that shit. Or bringing your dreams to life. So, right, you know, Gabriel's dream, you know, if this is really Gabriel in here, you know, they would have popped up, you know, in some type of Egyptian themed palace with like five different, different girls from different races. You know what I mean? All butt naked on his motherfucking car bed. You know what I mean? That 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 will be his so-called dream reality. And he can do that from the safety and from the comfort of his straight jacket, you know, in the mental asylum. He can definitely do that from jail. You know, he can have that. Oculus or that VR headset hooked up to the wall. Shit, and he could be locked. Man, he could be good to go. He could be good to motherfucking go. Shit. <laughs> that was a small fun. taste of what you can experience here at MVR. The metaverse. Whatever you can imagine can become a reality. Right, so whatever Gabriel can imagine can become a reality. Right, so here's a little space theme one, guys. Right. And, and you know Gary was all about space and the aliens and shit. Right. So you're about to see, you know, the Galian home world, right? And what the Galians are doing. What the hell? Look at you he's just in space floating. Yeah, that's Gary, man. He should be floating out there in space. Smoking uh man. What the hell? What the fuck? You see, bro, you see that? Here's the Galeans, man. Here's the Galeans. <laughs> Goddamn, Pharaoh, is I didn't know that your species like that, bro. Look at them, they're all here for you. They're all see, they all came, bro. They heard your signal. They heard your call, bro. While you were locked up sitting in that cell, crying, praying. It's the Galian gods. They're here, bro. Look at that. It's, it's they heard you come. It's they heard you crying, and they came to come pick you up and save you. All of them. See, you can even see. Look at that. Right here's another virtual world to where you can go and hang out with your favorite Dragon Ball Z anime characters, your comic book characters, um, your cartoon characters. Right. Um, you know. You know how fair was into the anime. Uh, that cartoon, you know, Star Wars shit, you feel me? So he can hang out with all his Star Wars friends in the metaverse, you feel me? He can actually, like, he don't have to go to Disney or, you know, ask these people to be part of the movie. He can literally, you know, virtually, you know, be part of these movies. Look at that, he can meet Goku. Look, he can go over here. He can go over here, fight Goku, shake his hand and shit like that, throw them little weak-ass kicks, you know, in the cell, punch Goku, there's Vegeta and stuff. And he can fight all day long. Man, he can talk shit in the metaverse. This would be a perfect space, a perfect universe for Gayro. A perfect.
perfect universe for Gero. Look at this yay little kiss. See Gero? See bro, they be able to kiss you, hug up on you, touch you, and like bro, you be able to man, you be the man of the man, you be the man in the metaverse. He's just like, hey. I'm pointing up. Why is that dude pointing up? Oh shit. Yeah, see Gero, you can have a lot of fun, man. You can sit by a bonfire, sit by a campfire. Talk with your favorite anime characters, bro. Talk talk with Star Wars, the Jedi, Yoda, nigga. You can talk with Chewbacca. You can talk with Star Trek, nigga. You can talk with all your favorite shit. You got to roll with the ninjas and shit. You can talk to Naruto. Look at this shit, guys. You can just fucking hang out in the metaverse. Alright, so here's another space guy. Here's a, uh, a 360 degree um, immerse world to where, you know, uh, with your Oculus headset, with your goggles, uh, they have these, you know, nature like environments to where you're at a beach. Desert, jungle, the, you know, the freezing cold weather, caves, underwater, it doesn't matter. Right? All these different places that you can actually travel throughout these different places within the metaverse um, as if you were really there in the jungle, or really there underwater, or really there in outer space. You'd be able to actually you know, see what it potentially could be like, guys. So here's a, a metaverse experience right here. See, so, right It's perfect for game room, man. You can just sit there and meditate. Alright. Got the Nima right there. See, Gero, like, he can build a jungle or build his little palace out here. Hang with the monkeys. He can hang with the monkeys. Look at that. got a beach hangout. This dude's immersed. In the metaverse, but I'm telling you, dude, if it'll be a true God in the metaverse. <laughs> Obviously, I'm fucking joking. This is like gonna, ain't gonna be a damn God. Right? So, here's another virtual world, guys, as well. Right? That's in the metaverse. Right? So, you're talking about building a jungle palace and. This land, that Gero, Skizo Bizo, uh, Fatka, like General Lu, like just they can build so many palaces and pyramids here. This is perfect for them, man. This fits your skill set. They do not know how to build in real life, so it'd be stupid for them to buy real life land. Go ahead and buy this digital, uh, it's metaverse land, Gero. Look at all them trees you can cut down and shit like that, bro, to make you some wood. To build you that Egyptian theme, zero point energy palace. Bro, you got all this uh, solar energy, bro. You can develop solar panels here. Bro, you, yeah, bro, you not, yeah, bro, you need to invest in this land. <laughs> the volume down real quick guys but yeah real quick it's real loud but yeah he can build all that stuff in the metaverse you know he can definitely build everything he needs to build in the metaverse you know especially when he's locked up and doing jail time you know he you know he don't need a lot of room you know he can just literally just stay in a little six by six space you know they hand him three meals a day and shit like that guys all that shit all that shit. All that shit. I want to show y'all something real quick. Hold on. Right. So let's go a little bit deeper into 
the metaverse experience. Okay. I want to show you a tour of somebody's actual uh, space inside of the metaverse that I think Gabriel would love. Like, I'm telling you, like, this is perfect for him. Y'all have no idea. Dude, this is called Oculus Airlink. Now, nah, this is a space see, where see? if you got friends, they could come chill with you. You could decorate it. See, it's an area. It's, it's basically like your mini virtual apartment. You could decorate it. You could add things. Your friends can come there and visit you, talk. You know, y'all can watch movies there. Y'all can do a bunch of stuff that, you know, you normally would do in real life, but you can do it virtually. You know, look at the house. Look at the view. Look at that. You can play around. Pick things up. It's that a bow right there. So Pharaoh can go ahead and shoot, you know, bow and arrows. He can go you know, grab lightsabers and grab swords and, you know, firearms. Like, see, in the metaverse, Pharaoh can have all the legal firearms he wants. He can buy the rocket launchers, the nukes, the glocks, with the, you know, with the silencers on them, with the magazines, with the, you know, with, you know, with the banana clips. Like, yo, he can buy all that shit in the metaverse, you know. There's no laws in the metaverse to where if you're a ex-felon, you know, to where you can't vote, you can't buy guns. Like that, like those laws don't exist in the metaverse, bro. Just to let you know, Gamero. So if you think that you're gonna own a gun in real life, yeah, keep dreaming. But in the in, in, bro, in the metaverse, that's man, that could be one of the first things that you fucking Having your place is a fucking firearm, bro. You can feel safe and secure to where you feel like nobody's gonna fuck with you. You feel me? Right, he just picked up a bow. Play around, pick things up. It's pretty cool. Right, so you see the avatar in there? Do a lot of shit. Let's see what else we got. You like walk around. Dude, this is my crib, so like I said. Right, so this is crib. Uh, 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 this is virtual crib. You can come in here. Look at that little blaster, uh, that gun. Look at that pistol. See, young Pharaoh, bro, you can buy you a pistol. It's looking at a pistol. Be talking about, you know, four or five headshots at a nigga dome. You can literally do that in the metaverse, bro. Look at you can hold the pistol, you can shoot targets. Look at that. Man, you can shoot inside your house. And there won't be any police call, man. You can threaten whoever you want to threaten in the metaverse, bro. And you're gonna be good. Ain't no core, ain't a white man gonna come get you. Look at that. Man, you can shoot all the bullets inside your house. This is really virtual. Look at that. Man, we're grabbing yeah. furniture. You can grab move furniture like you fucking Superman. See, this is perfect for Skizo Bezo and Gayro. Since they actually have no building skills in real life, this would be perfect for them. Uh -huh. Avatar. Right, you can go to the mirror, change your avatar. Okay, I'm my phone in my hand right here. Then I look, boom. Avatar selections, put your clothes up. Look at that, guys. To my right, now he's a high value man. Right, so you can be a high value man in the metaverse. Yeah. Right, watch. All right, so he's shooting a bow. Look at that. Yeah, man, you can go over here and shoot bows and arrows again in the red, in red, red light in the metaverse. Bro, you need to stop capping. Man, get off that PS4 or that damn Xbox and get you a motherfucking Oculus, bro. Like, you really need it. Like, way more fun, way more peace in here, bro. Look at that. Then I can go to other people's houses. So that's a lightsaber right here. So look, is Gamer talking about Star Wars and he, you know, he want to be in a Star Wars movie. Look at that, bro. You can, bro. It's, it's made for you, Gero. It's made for your species, bro. Look, you can hook shit up, slice up your floors, slice up your walls. You can cut holes in the walls and shit. Bro, you, you, know, you need this. This would be therapeutic for you. I, I think this would help detox you. Like, this is what Facebook is up to, y'all. This shit ain't no game. Nah, that ain't no game, bro. So, let's see. You wanna go? Right, you can also visit your friends' homes, people's homes, uh, you know, while they're not there. Things like yeah, that. Yeah, you can do this. You can go to other people's stuff. Watch, well, you go to virtual clubs, virtual strip clubs, like virtual bars. Like you can drink, party with your friends. Like you can do everything that you would do in the real world, just 
in the metaverse. You man, you can do that in there. Right? So you know how young Gero says that he's this person, he's that, he's that. Like he can party, talk to all the females, you feel me, shoot all the firearms and guns and lightsabers and all the training and boxing matches and shit like that. He can do all that shit in the metaverse. Basically do whatever you want. So he just tapped into somebody else's crib. Look. Right, he, 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 he's grabbing their bow. Sheesh. And look at that shit. Sheesh. Sheesh. He's looking at bow and arrow, guys. That boy got the fire shit in his shit. Right, that, that, that's another random dude's crib he just visited. Look. All right, guys, so here's another video right here, guys. So Samsung, and I don't know if y'all know this, but Samsung officially purchased land in what's called the, the, the Drinking Land, and they opened up their first virtual, uh, it's uh, their own virtual reality store inside of the metaverse. So here's the actual store that they opened up. They, like they, they pay like over like $50,000 in real cash and real like liquid money uh for stuff like this I, th I think it's over 50 grand for the amount of money that they paid and put into building all this virtual store right guys so here's part of the metaverse here, here's another virtual um i guess universe or world that you can go to um you can run around you can do different things talk and communicate write messages look at that samsung Look at this. the mystical forest of two million trees, like young hero man. You can look, you can walk into a different portal. There you go, look at ancient wisdom awaits for you. Look at that world, hero. See, your 51 acres are waiting right here for you, my nigga. And they ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody gonna take them. Ain't no judge can stop you from having them. Yeah, bro. You, you can build here, bro. Set, man, you can set up a little tent. Like 50 Nature Boy. And you can straight up ground next to that river. You can fish in that river. I mean, you tripping, bro. You tripping wanting to buy real land, bro. Like, nigga, like, what land that you're gonna buy... In Costa Rica, that has a river flowing through it. You got natural resources flowing. Nigga, you can be the king of the jungle here. Have all the females here with no men and live in peace. Come on, man. Look at that shit. You pick the little ribbon like grass and shit like that. That's just one of the worlds, bro. You, you got a fucking spring. Yeah, bro. You got a spring river and a dragon. Look at this bunch of shit. You can swim. You can drown. Look at this. Underwater world. Yeah. Right, she over speaking, you know, an Asian language. So it's like, you know how we all talking about China. You know, uh, China Jackie. You know, all like all that Chinese shit. This is perfect for him. The forest provides rewards. So you get reward for just traveling through the forest, bro. You get paid money and shit. Look at that. You have your own dragon and shit, bro. Why would you want this? Why would you choose Costa Rica over this, bro? Oh, that's why I don't understand Gero. Like, you don't need no damn real land. You don't even know how to take care of it. You don't even know how to, you know, upgrade the land. Like, you don't even know how to survey it. Like, you don't even know how to do any of that shit to make a potential. Like, you can party in this bitch. Look at this. Right, so here's a person that's gonna party. Look at that. Party, dance. Look at that. Dress the way you want to. Communicate, talk, vibe with other people. And Gabriel, man, you can find you a wife in the metaverse. Man, you can find you a whole heart of women in the metaverse, bro. Up 
Late no nights cap. on a Saturday night. No cap. Club. Wish I had a day just to turn up. No cap. You feel me? Have to say my time's burnt up. Something like my pockets in the saddest way. Reality TV just laughs at me. Kind of like those bullies in high school. Behind scenes was catastrophe. So could everyone quit telling me what it had to be? Just to be simple with you, brother. I'm here, okay, man. So, yeah, get around, man. There's so much stuff you can do here. I don't understand why you don't put your time in, right? Look, here's another spot in the, here's another spot in the metaverse. See, there's another Galeon. See, girl, the entire time, your your brothers and sisters, cousins been watching you this entire time, bro. Look at that. They're, they're running across the hall right now. Come on, bro. Stop playing with you. Look at that. They're running back. Gero, like, they coming after you, bro. They want that 33rd vertebrae. Oh, there he is. The Gero, they coming. See, this is how they be moving on Gero. Reappearing, appearing places. Saying how. See, they'll appear how. Like, what do you think he learned and got all this behavior from? Tell you, like, this is how they tap this 33rd vertebrae popping in and out of dimensions and shit. Pop that man's cherry straight up. Straight up popped it. Straight up popped that dude's cherry. That's a goddamn shame. I really can't believe it. I really can't believe it. And that just goes to show you guys that Gero needs the metaverse. He needs the 51 acres of land. That's the only way he's going to have peace. That's the only way that he's going to be able to, you know, be the so-called God Galian that, you know, he came here to be, guys. So um, I think he would have a better time in the metaverse. I think that it would fit more of his skill set. Uh, I think that in that environment, in that world, um, he would have a better opportunity than in the real physical world you know to get chicks like here like here in the physical world you know, it's a lot harder man to maintain a female um and to keep her happy you know you, you just can't you know have knowledge and pseudo ass shit to you know to make a woman happy like you actually have to have char characteristics of a man you have to have that patience you have to have you know certain traits and you know behaviors that you know lead to masculinity and leadership and you know, things like structure and things like that. You know, you don't feel got none of that. Right? So the best place that fits his skill set, his characteristics, his traits is the metaverse. So instead of investing in the 51 acres of land and the jungles of, the, of Costa Rica, why don't you just invest inside the lands in the metaverse? You don't have to leave the comfort of your home to go out to your land in the metaverse. You don't have to leave the country and move away from your children. Like you, like you can still visit your children and get, you know, co-parenting. You can still, you know, get court visits, schedule court visits, and stuff like that. Like, you, like you don't have to keep traveling back outside the country into the country for your children. Like, you can have access to your land straight from those goggles. And I think that's the best situation for you, uh, Gero. Because you don't do shit. You don't read shit. That so-called $100,000 library, I guarantee you don't have no books on agriculture, no, like no books on growing food, no books on how to take certain materials in their natural state and convert them into, you know, steel or things that we need to make the commodities and technology that we use today. None of that shit. I guarantee you don't, you don't have one damn book with that shit in there. But you talk about buying 51 acres of land and wanted to build an Egyptian zero-point energy themed uh, palace. I guess in a, he's selling another dream. But in the metaverse, it doesn't become a dream. Like It becomes more realistic. Like He has a better shot of building a so-called Egyptian themed palace in the metaverse than he, he would... Buying the land and physical life in Costa Rica. And that's 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 crazy. 
I think the metaverse is perfect, you know, for mentally unstable people like Gabriel. I think it'd be a heaven. He can troll, he can, you know, chase cloud, he can call all the people, bit he can call all the so-called, you know, metaversal citizens, bitches, hoes, and shit like that. He can claim, you know, he can accuse them of selling pussy all day long in the metaverse. And ain't shit gonna happen. So that's perfect for him, guys. He needs that. You know, he needs that land. He needs, you know, that, you know, that space. You know, he needs a smaller set of goggles because, you know, he got that sunken in face. You know, this is what's best for him, guys. And I think, you know, the photo that y'all see on the screen right now, I think that, you know, this is his future right here. You know, him locked up in a straight jacket in a, a cushion ass mentally, you know, you know, room. And he got the metaverse goggles saying he got the 51 acres of land in the jungles. Feel me? That is the best route for him and for his family. Um, and, you know, just for his happiness, guys. But shit, you feel me? Yeah, Pharaoh, if you're listening, I don't give a damn if you buy the land in real life. Actually, I prefer you buy it in real life because I already know you're going to fuck it up. And that's going to be funny to watch you fuck it up. Right, but in the metaverse, it's a lot harder to fuck up. You can stream it, man. You can play your music and do your raps, man. You can there's so much shit you can do in the metaverse, bro. You can create you a studio, and you can become one of the first mainstream metaverse rappers, bro. Like, like you're not even like you tripping right now, bro. Right, but that's Gero's thing, man. He's into the future. He's into technology. He's like he's into that stuff. But that completes the video, guys, for today. Young Pharaoh has been released inside of the metaverse, guys. Um, that's my prediction on where I believe his land um, is going to be at. It's going to be inside the metaverse. You know, it's going to be, you know, not in the high tier worlds where Snoop Dogg and these NFL players and these politicians are already investing in you know, $300,000 in a plot of land in the metaverse, a million dollars here and there, right? He gonna be a broke nigga in the metaverse. Like he already a broke nigga now, but he's gonna be even broken nigga in the metaverse. But it's best for him to start now, so that you know, by the time that he gets himself established in the metaverse, that he could be making middle class, you know, money in there to afford a middle class home and afford everything that he needs to buy in the metaverse. Because you can also buy clothes, you can buy sneakers, you can buy video games, you can buy consoles. TV, flat screens, couches, like the same stuff that you would buy in the real world. You can buy the same stuff in the digital sphere, in the metaverse, guys. So thank you for tuning in uh, for the video. Catch us for another one. Peace and love. We'll see you later.